A keyboard connected to a computer is used at a rate of one keystroke per second. The computer system polls the keyboard every 10 milliseconds to check for a keystroke and consumes 100 microseconds for each poll. If it is determined after polling that a key has been pressed, the system consumes an additional 200 microseconds to process the keystroke. Let T1 denote the fraction of a second spent in polling and processing a keystroke. In an alternative implementation, the system uses interrupts instead of polling. An interrupt is raised for every keystroke. It takes a total of 1 millisecond for servicing an interrupt and processing a keystroke. Let T2 denote the fraction of a second spent in servicing the interrupt and processing a keystroke. So the ratio T1 to T2 is what? So there are two ways in which the system is checking whether a keystroke has happened or not. In the first, there is the polling which is happening. So let us compute the time that is T1 which is the fraction of a second spent in polling and processing the keystroke. So in one second, the system is polling the keyboard every 10 milliseconds. So how many pollings will be there in one second? Now we know that one second is 1000 milliseconds and in every 10 milliseconds there is one polling that is happening. So number of pollings will be 1000 upon 10 which is 100 pollings. And each polling it consumes 100 microseconds. So 100 microseconds is 0 0.1 milliseconds. So the time that is spent on 100 pollings will be 100 into 0.1 which is 10 milliseconds. Also in one second, there is one keystroke per second that, has, that is also given in the question. So the number of keystrokes is, is one and the time which is spent on processing the keystroke is 200 microseconds, which is 0 0.2 milliseconds. So in one second, what is the total time that is spent on polling and processing the keystroke? That is T1, this is 10, plus 0 0.2 which gives us 10.2 milliseconds. Now in the second implementation which is the interrupt implementation, an interrupt will be sent to the system as to, uh, whenever a key has been pressed. So we know that the number of keystrokes in one second is 1. So that means there will be only one interrupt in one second. And it's given that the time spent on servicing and processing the interrupt is 1 millisecond. So this is our T2. So T2 is 1 millisecond. Now if we have to compute the ratio, T1 upon T2, we have computed T1 is 10.2. So 10.2 upon 1 will give us 10.2. This is the answer.